Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm painting Ryan John from Zombicide Green Horde. Alright, so I started off with a primer of Wolf Grey from the Army Brainer. And then I'm moving on to Pale Skin, and this is for his face and his hair, so I can do his hair later on in a different color. And this is from the Zombicide Invaders paint set from the Army. Alright, then I move on to D&D's Marvelous Pigments paint set, and in there I use Ghoul Grey, and this is for the sleeves of his shirt, and his shirt as well, so it goes around his neck. So then I move on to the Zombicide Black Plague paint set, and this is also from Army Painter. So leather brown, and this is for the leather armor on his shoulders, his boots, and the leather armor on his pants, I guess you could say. Then I use one of the quick shade tones, Blue Tone, from the Army Painter, and this is to go over his cape, his robe, uh, because I wanted this to dry so I could do the highlights later on. And the Wolf Grey was a perfect base for this miniature because it had a lot of blue on him already. And uh, this comes out nice, and you'll see later on I actually use a paint that I thought was the same color as Wolf Grey, but you'll see it's not. Okay, and then I use another one of D&D's Marvelous Pigments paints, Wraith Black, and this is for his gloves, uh, because they were not black on the uh, image, but like a dark, dark blue, and I find a Wraith Black has that nice blackish blue to it, and I use this also for the sheath of his sword. Alright, then I use some Gun Black from Zombicide Invaders paint set, and this is for the straps uh, holding up uh, his sheaths or his belts.
Now I'm using a Citadel Color Contrast Snake Bite Leather. As I mentioned before, I really like this contrast, and I was surprised on this gray, uh, grayish blue, blue primer, it actually came out really nice. And so I do a pouch that I saw and the rest of his belt with this. All right, then I'm using some Claymore Blade from the Army Painter Zombie Side Black Plague paint set. And of course, this is for the sword and for the armor on his knees and uh, part of his boots that are also armor clad. All right, then I'm using Bright Gold, also from the Zombie Side Black Plague paint set. And this is for the hilt of his sword. And also for all around his robes, he has this nice golden trim on it. So I decided to do that as well. And I'm using a little bit of a flatter brush to be able to just get the edges. And then I'll use a nicer rounded tip brush later on just to get uh, his collar and uh, some other little parts are just nice little gold trim on it. Now time for some Evil Chrome from the Metallic Colors paint set from the Army Painter. And this is just for this uh, little, what do you call that, button ear or whatever, and this little thing on his shoulder as well. Now I'm moving on to Fur Brown from the Army Painter. And this is actually to do his beard, his goatee style, and a bit of his sideburns that come down as well. All right, using another Citadel color, Contrast, Sigor Brown, or Sigor Brown, sorry. Uh, this is for his hair and for his eyebrows. Uh, he had a bit of an orangey tone to his hair, and uh, I wanted to have this in there, and I found it underneath, on top of the white. It came out really nice. All right, using Army Painter's Flesh Wash, now I put this on his face, so his skin, so give it more of a fleshy look. And I noticed it was still a little bit pale once it dried, so I added a second coating to it off camera. So the strong tone wash I use on the leather parts of his uh, of the miniature, so on his shoulder pads and on his legs. I also use it on, uh, I believe, a bit of the sword, and uh, yeah. And I'm using a Citadel color shade, so cryptic armor shade gloss. And I add this in the crevices of his sword because he has like some writing on it. I also use it on his boots and the armor on his legs to give it more of a darker armor look, a little bit used. Uh, but the, uh, the images on the sword come out really nice. All right, and I use some Invader Shader Wash. And this is from the Zombie Side Invader paint set. And this is actually just for that light color for his shirt to make it a little bit more of a darker gray. All right, so now I'm using a Xenos Carapace from Zombie Side Invader paint set. And I thought this was like wolf gray, but supposedly it's a bit lighter. So I use it for a highlight on his robes and it turns out really nice.
And to put a finishing touch onto the miniature, we use some Citadel Technical Paint Blood for the Blood Guide. And this is just to splatter some blood on his sword. And I'm going to finish off with some Dirt Spatter, uh, which is an Army Painter's War Paint. And I'm going to use this for the base because I want to put on some Sterling Mud, I believe it's called, or something like that, that dries up cracks and ends up being really nice. And you'll see that in the picture. So that is Ryan John, all painted and ready for the table. Thanks for watching.